Good afternoon, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now coming to you from our digital desk. We've just gotten in some new video from the Ohio State Highway Patrol uh, and it's really to highlight uh, the end of year OVI statistics uh, operating a vehicle impaired. Uh, the video we're going to warn you right up front is pretty hard to watch. I have seen a lot of dash cam video and I think in our headline on this story, it's something to the effect of the fact that this man is still alive is incredible. And it truly is when you watch this body cam or this dash cam video, this man uh, nearly collides with a semi. Uh, he is clearly impaired. It is broad daylight. Uh, not only does he nearly collide with a semi, he goes off the road and there is a uh, stretch of trees. How he does not collide with a tree going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour is incredible. Uh, and then when he finally does stop, it is clear that he is under the influence of some sort of drug. Uh, the troopers have to break through a window, get him out of the vehicle and administer two doses of Narcan. Uh, it is truly uh, unnerving to watch because you start thinking about you and your family and your loved ones on the road in a situation like that. Now, the Ohio State Highway Patrol has put this all out in an effort to uh, get you to think about uh, uh, driving intoxicated, driving impaired on any kind of drug. They have put out their OVI enforcement statistics for so far this year. And as you can see in Northeast Ohio, there have been 3,700 drivers pulled from Northeast Ohio roadways uh, because they were, again, either intoxicated or the, under the influence of a drug. The uh, startling statistics are when you start looking at counties in particular. Uh, if you take Lorraine, Portage and Stark County and Summit County, they make up 46% of all OVI enforcements so far this year, Lorain County leads the way with 482 arrests. That's not exactly a category that you want to uh, win. Uh, and when you look at the arrests by day of the week, probably not surprising. It is Saturday. Uh, so if you think Saturday starts at midnight on Friday, so uh, people out uh, either at the bars or uh, whatever, uh, Friday night into Saturday and then Sunday, the arrests, when you look on the other side of the chart, uh, you can see that the uh, uh, the percentages are incredible when you look by hour, that it's uh, anywhere from uh, 10 o'clock to really uh, about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, when the majority of the arrests uh, are happening. Again, people who are uh, taking their lives and your lives into their hands by not uh, driving sober, by not having the designated driver, by not taking an Uber. Uh, there really is uh, no shortage uh, of ways to get uh, yourself out of trouble. But let's get to this video. Uh, it's only about two minutes long. We'll play it a couple of times. Uh, this first time, uh, I won't narrate it. We'll just let you watch it because it is truly incredible. And I want you to think about being out on that road with your own family when something like this happens. Put it in park. Put it in park. Hey, 
Hey. Oh. Hey. What's your name? What's going on? Okay. Yeah. Do you guys Not find anything on him? Yeah. Oh, we're yeah. waking up a little bit. He's very rigid. We got his ID off and that's it. Oh. What happened this morning? Hey. Oh, yeah. What happened? Mm-hmm. Well, these guys got you stopped on the side of the road. Gave you some Narcan. And that is the end of the video that was given to us by the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Uh, this video was from back in September in Mahoning County. This was just outside of Youngstown. So we're talking extreme northwest Ohio, northeast Ohio. Uh, but just again, we're going to show that video again and uh, to watch him come within a foot of a semi uh, doing 65 miles an hour on a highway. Uh, to then go off road and clearly by the time he does stop and somehow in his state, uh, he is clearly impaired, uh, clearly on something uh, as he then has to be given Narcan uh, to be able to sort of start to come out of it. You hear the paramedic at the end. Oh, now you're starting to come out of it or uh, talk or something in that regard. But let's take a look at this video again. It is the white SUV in question all over the road. That's what gets the attention of the trooper. And it's right here that almost hits that barrier. But now look at how close he's going to come to that semi just within a foot or two. And that would have been a major accident. Uh, and then again, just not pulling over and all over the road. How he did not go head on into a tree right there is just unbelievable uh, and then he will finally come to a stop put it in park put it in park And as you can see there, when they first break through that window, the man is just completely out of it. Okay, hold on. Come on. It's right there. Again, there is the first dose of Narcan. Here comes the second dose, and uh, paramedics will now come into this. Hey, what's your name? It is a scary and sta sad state uh, to think about what is out there on our roads, uh, driving next to us, driving next to you. Uh, that's why, again, the Ohio State Highway Patrol is putting out their uh, close to end of year statistics on OVI. Uh, and again, uh, just in Northeast Ohio alone, in our counties, 3,700 arrests, people taken off the street, uh, off our highways for driving impaired. It is that time of year, uh, the holidays, there are parties, there are family get togethers. When you watch this kind of video, Make sure you make the correct decisions. If we have any other breaking news, we're going to bring it to you here on our digital platforms. Brian Duffy will be diving into this issue and more of the statistics coming up in our early news. Until then, I'm Dan DeRose with 19 News Now. Have a good weekend. 19 News. First. Fair. Everywhere.